Welcome to the video, guys. It's gonna be a long couple of days. I am still very much on this FL5 kick, and I figured today we'd dust it off a little bit. We're getting the FL5 ready to head to the track, and we're going old school this time. No trailer, no M2, and partly because we still don't have tires for this, and I just got word that our suspension is being built and should be in very, very soon, so we're gonna give the old M2 a break and dust off the FL5. But like I said, going old school like we did on the FK8, and we're loading all this stuff into this. I'm gonna show you guys why the FL5 is the best road and track warrior of all time. I also figured this might help some of you guys that want to get into tracking your cars and don't really know where to start. Cause I feel like this is kind of like what everybody can do. I'm going to be putting on our OEM wheels and tires to drive to the track. I think I've been a little spicy for this trip and we're going to break out the yellow raised wheels for our track set. And we're going to be loading these into the back of the car, all four wheels and tires, our jack, as well as an assortment of tools that I think that I will need for the track. Torque wrench, gun, sockets, air compressor, and jack stands, of course. And we're gonna make our trek three hours up north to Button Willow, my favorite track here in California, and see what this FO5 can do. I'm super pumped, but before we get going in height, we gotta go ahead and put on our OEM wheels, which I'm kind of excited to see them on the car because I do like the OEM wheels, and especially with all the new mods that we have, I think it'll look pretty nice actually. So I'm rambling on. Let's go ahead and get started, put the OEM wheels on, and we'll get ready to go. Just like that, we are all set and ready to drive to the track. Well, almost. Last but not least, the fun part, we gotta load all of that stuff into the back of the car. Now the major reason the FL5 and I guess the FK8 are such great cars is the absolute craziness of the trunk space. I'm able to fit all four wheels and tires, all of the tools, everything in this car and get it out to the track, which is what makes it one of the best cars to be able to do something like this. Last but not least, we've got the tool bag and uh, that's everything. Four wheels and tires, jack, jack stands, we're good to go. And I like to just put the stocks back on to drive just in case anything happens, you know? You never know what could happen, especially like last time with the M2. The difference between the M2 and the FL5, well, there's a lot of differences, but mainly with driving it to and from, I can't fit anything in the M2. That's why we trailer that car. But for this one, this kind of gives us a cushion in case anything happens to our tires. Should be good to go. Chris, you ready for a road trip round two? Let's do this, man. You get both sides. You get the luxurious truck and trailer. Now we're gonna be riding the technically race car all now the way there. Race car the full way. <laughs> Sorry, hopefully that means we get there faster. Yes, now the real test is we have both of our luggage to put in here. So let's yeah, try that cozy. out. We'll figure it out. 
So we got all the track stuff, camera stuff right here. Throw this in there and we'll be ready to go. There we go. Not pretty, but does the job. Here we go. Moment of truth, luggage is inside. Here we go. Look at that. Just, just perfect. Look at this. All the luggage fits. I might not be able to see, but we will be able to get to the track comfortably in this F05. Super stoked. All right, I guess it's time to pull this thing out and we have a three hour adventure up to Button Willow to go stay at the race car hotel, which figured we're already vlogging this. Might as well just take you guys along too. Also, shout out to Ghost for keeping me energized for this trip. Always coming in clutch. All right, let's get this F05 out of the garage. All right, dude, how sick is this that we can just cruise like this, comfortably at least in the front seat, and still have all the stuff in the back? It amazes That's me the, the bolstering that these seats have for being a bucket seat and being this comfortable. I know, and I went back and forth like wanting to change the seats, but I don't think I can do it. They're too good. They're good seats. So we have 10.33, two, two hours, 45 minute drive. We'll see you guys at the race car hotel. You know, we really elevated our race car hotel stay. You are very lucky you were in our Motel 6 era race car hotel. I'm not gonna lie. We're living luxurious in here, dude. When we were leaving, you said we were going to the race car hotel. <laughs> you thought we were going to the motel? I thought we were going to the motel. <laughs> I was you know, worried. Maybe next time I'll have to book that one just so you get the experience. Let me know in the comments. Should we make comment down below? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. Should we make Chris stay in the Milto Six to you know haze him into this? That that's your inaugural stay. I'm not official, so we stayed in the Milto Six. Exactly. I mean, eventually we'll stay in some sort of hotel it just depends when maybe in japan but uh we have made it this is a hotel check here very nice editing station tonight we actually don't have to do that which is pretty nice you know i always love a good hotel shower and this one's pretty decent. no hair on the floor that's good absolutely not i will never be in a hotel it's pretty late 10 30 we actually made some really good time getting here we're gonna get some sleep and we will see you guys in the morning for a fun track day in the FO5. Track snacks acquired, gas acquired. Good morning guys, it's track day. All right, a little bit of energy this morning. Dude, this one, I forgot the last one exploded too. This one didn't explode. Nice. All right, let's head to the track. Starting route to Button Willow Raceway Park. We made it. We got a garage for today, our own little spot. Since no trailer, decided to get a garage. Of course, we are here with SoCal Drivers Club, but today's a little bit of a different day because they have stuff called, or they have an event called the 25 Car Day, or 25 Driver Day, which means only 25 cars allowed at the entire event, which is usually sometimes what you get in a single session, which is gnarly. So tons of track time. It's gonna be nice, no traffic, and just fun to get the FL5 out. So I'm gonna save you guys the footage here. I'm just gonna go ahead and swap over to the yellow wheels and get this thing ready to be out on track. Nice, we are back in yellow. You know, after putting these wheels on, you guys are right. The yellow does, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's definitely mixed reviews about what you guys think about the yellow wheels, but the yellow wheels just look damn good. We used these for our SEMA wheels this past year, but now they are our track spares, and honestly, this thing is in a bling on track. You can't miss me, dude. Got like the uh, highlighter yellow. This looks absolutely sick. All right, we got our tire pressure set, wheels are on. This car is essentially just ready to go. That's what I love about this car too. It's so easy just to set the tire pressures and get right out there. Today, we are gonna see what this family sedan is made of. But before we do that, maybe we go for a little pit walk, see what's out there. If you guys have been around for a while, you might remember a familiar face here, especially if you watch the Japan videos. Look who's in town. 
What's up, dude? Good morning, ladies. What did you just decide to flex on all of us today? <laughs> What's up, it's man? My my putt putt. Yes, everybody. This is Tyrone. If you don't remember, Tyrone today instead of he his decision was either to bring a GT3 RS 992 GT3 RS or he decided to take out the GT3 Touring. Dude, this thing is so cool. Thank you. How do you like it? It's super fun. It's so loud now, though. I put the titanium exhaust on it, and it is like a. Uh, it's pretty useful. You gotta take me for a ride. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go. Absolutely go. I'm so we'll stoked. Go. So, what's special about this is also Tyrone is rocking with some AP Racing big brakes. I'm sure this thing feels absolutely ridiculous. Oh, it's the brakes and it's got the Manti suspension, the Manti wheels. I just had the, uh, just put in the uh, numeric short shifter. Dude, dude, get it. Try the short shifter. It is insane. Like, uh, it's like a rifle. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh, and it's manual. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, this is so sick. All right, let's test it. Oh! So they make it for the Cayman. Dude, what? What brand is this? Uh, numeric, out of numeric. Florida. Listen, listen to this, guys. I hope you can hear it on the camera, but. So try the, tr there's no slop in gear. Watch, try to feel the tolerance. Check this out, like nothing. Yeah, nothing. Oh my god. Yeah, we're definitely getting a ride along in this. Yeah. Epic. Absolutely epic. Okay, look at this hood too. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> this is also absolutely epic. That's our friend Mike right there. He's giving lessons to a brand new driver today. Going out in, I think that's a 930. I. You guys will probably roast me in the comments if it's not, but that's super sick. Your first time ever going on track and you're driving that, epic. A little spec Miata action here, Chris. But that's the cool thing about today. Like, there's not a lot of cars here, but there's a lot of really good lot cars, or a small amount of really good cars. Even on track, there are some Cayman Cup car, McLaren 570S's, RIP to my old one, and multiple, multiple other 992's. It's really cool. Oh, talk about a setup, dude. Whoa, wait, hold on. what? What is this? Did you upgrade? Yeah, yeah. So you got rid of the, the AMG? Yeah, yeah. For this? I actually still have it, but I got this. It's dude, congrats. Sick, bro. It's, it's so good. sick. Wow. Dude, what a spec. Clear tails, center locks, color matched cage to the wheels. So good. Every now and then I think about the old 570S. But then I also think about how many electrical issues it gave us. But still, I have a soft spot and a sweet spot for all McLarens, especially in the orange. Super good. Car just went off, so they're towing them off. Once the track's no longer black flagged, let's get out there. So I think also this is an appropriate time to mention as well, we have a brand new, it's not even a collection, but just some stuff that I wanted to throw up on the site for you guys. And it's a brand new like mini collection of Legends circuit team gear. So if you guys notice my shirt today, all of this stuff is brand new and on the site right now. I'll link it down below for you guys, but we have four new shirts. This gray one that I'm wearing, we have an all new and improved black one. Then we're bringing back this one, which we did in gray. We did a black version, and we also did it in a red version, which is one of my favorites as well. All the stuff is live on the site right now. For any of you guys need a new track or a shop t-shirt, or you just wanna wear this out and show some support, it's live on the site right now. First link down in the description box below. Sounds like we're green flagged, so let's get out there.
You know, not bad. I am thoroughly impressed. Oh my gosh, this is the first time we've been able to run Button Willow. Oh, these tires, jeez, that's crazy. First time we've been able to run Button Willow with a proper set of RE71RSs and right off the bat, first hot lap, 59. Good car, dude. For a dad car, this thing is pretty rowdy. <laughs> First frickin' hot lap, 59. Little deep reef here. It's nice to be driving something different from the M2. I really miss the front wheel drive, just how much fun it is to drive one of these and be able to swing the rear end out. That's what I love about getting to do what I do and driving a bunch of different cars. I get to experience the way they all drive differently. And while I think the M2 is a completely different monster compared to the FO5, it's nice just to be able to hop into this and just go. And with a practically stock car, aside from suspension wheels and tires and be able to go out and immediately run a 59 that is epic and this car definitely still has more in it so when we were here last time your first session on the m2 was what 58 58 yeah 58, so, so I mean, think about that yeah that's crazy that is crazy what a proper set of suspension and tires can do first session 59 i could even see it like my eyes and on the camera uh -huh. like the driving style differences the way right. you're going into braking zones and corners and stuff but it's still putting out similar times even though you're coming on the straight yeah. speeds it's a lot of fun. It's super cool. Very good car for a family sedan. This thing absolutely boogies. Did probably 10 laps, still a full tank of gas. Check this out. Consistent 59s and on the last one, the tires are getting a little too hot, going two seconds. We got a little bit of time left in this thing, but I'm gonna let her sit, cool off, and just enjoy the day. This is exactly what I wanted to do, and I'm super stoked that we're able to set a really, really great time. Kind of makes me want to build this just a little, little bit more, you know? Kind of just set. Of the day. <laughs> we can see how far we can take this as a daily. Can you imagine if it was stiffer too? Like if yeah. you just added any type of chassis stiffening? Yeah, it's very true. One thing I am noticing, the brakes get a little bit spicy when like after doing maybe four laps, they get a little bit softer. But again, that's just brake cooling and stuff that we can fix down the road. And we still got the AP racing brakes, which I could just full send onto this. After today, that might be the case. <laughs> This is definitely one of the cars I wanted to show you guys here today. This is what looks like a Cayman R. Full, full race car, I know. That's what we need. Ducting, look at that. Look at this setup. The air ducting to the engine. That's, That's wild. Fully gutted. This is epic, dude. See, like we're building like the street version of this car. Gonna have the personality of this car, but very, very much more streetable. <laughs> to get a little toasty outside so we're gonna go out for session number two i went ahead and dropped my tire pressures because we were a little bit hot oh still crackling because it's cooling down but uh when i came in these were 40 psi hot which if you don't know very very bad not good so we dropped those down to 32 in the front and 35 in the rear all right session number two Today just keeps getting crazier. Now a, uh, a real dream come true. I am breaking what I told myself I was gonna do. <laughs> so Tyrone has offered me the experience to drive his 911 Touring on track and I can't say no. I originally, I wanted to save my first ever experience driving a modern 911 for when I have my own. But you made a good point, Tyrone. I need to drive it in order to see what I'm working towards. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, what if in the minuscule chance you don't like it? That's not gonna happen, <laughs> but you gotta look for something to look forward to. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna hop into Tyrone's 911 Touring. Is there any like quick details we should know about the car? 
Uh, Man Manti wheels. Manti wheels, Manti suspension, AP racing brakes, uh, JCR titanium exhaust. Other than that, it's stock. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's a manual. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. All right, sure, dude. ready to have some yeah, fun? Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. Let's go do it. All right. Holy crap. Okay. This is really happening. Might Holy be a little crap, for you. that's crazy. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Oh my gosh. Right. We gotta tow someone off from Phil Hill. Oh shit. So we're just gonna call it for lunch now. What's the automotive equivalent of blue balls? I know, this is so good. <laughs> God <laughs> No! <laughs> Are you <laughs> me? <laughs> like I laid all out for you, everything's all set up, and then like, son of a what a tease! <laughs> this is bullshit, Tyrone. You think I would have told him to, to like follow to go off the track or something? <laughs> Man, what a freaking tease, Chris. Someone went off again right as we were going out in uh, in Tyrone's 992. But we're still cutting it. Like, we got to leave pretty soon because traffic is going to be horrendous. So we don't have as much time, but it's now after lunch. And we're going to take it out for just a couple of laps just to experience how awesome it is. But during lunch, look what else showed up. AMG GTR Mad. Are you going to drive this thing? What's up? Are you gonna drive this thing? I might, I don't know, we'll see. Absolute madness. <laughs> I drove it at, uh, well you guys saw it at Laguna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AMG GT3 raw spec. What the heck? Look at this thing, guys. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> look at these tires. The tires look like Hot Wheels tires. Yeah. Like, look at this. That is crazy. So, can't wait to see this thing out there. I think it is time. All right, Tyrone, take two. Take two. Oh my God. Yep.
trying to get it to come around. Dude, this was insane. Thank you so much, Tyrone. My pleasure, man. I am, uh, see this is either a really bad idea or just like the best thing ever. Because now, ever. now I just, <laughs> now I know. Now I know what I need and I'm just gonna do it. But you have the Cayman. The Cayman's, the Cayman yeah. is, for the money, I, I don't care what Porsche snobs say, for the money it is like 80% of the fun, maybe 90% of the fun of a 911 without the baggage of the 911 with the price and everything. It's, it's such a great car. You can have so much fun with that car. This was eye-opening and I just cannot thank you enough. Dude. That was great. insane. The way this thing feels, the rear grip with, with the rear engine, like it's just, it's unlike anything else I've ever yeah. driven. The, it's almost scary first, right? You're like on it, you're like, it's gonna come out. It's, it never, it just it never, never does. And it's just like, boom, boom. The more you give it, all that weight's going back there, giving all that those tires that grip right there, yeah. and you're just- It's you're gonna just sound going. weird, but it almost it almost feels like a front-wheel drive car because of the rotation yes, from the rear. absolutely. It rotates around, and then in some ways, you still do get understeer, but you can drive out of a turn in a way. As long yeah. as you're, as long as you have the car per perfectly planked and it's you're pointed straight, you get on it, and then you just point and shoot. You're the man, dude. Thank you so much. Man. This is cool too. Dude, this thing just looks so cool. I like the non-aero. I do. I, it, it, it's just right, I think, for the street. Like, I love the wing and it serves a purpose, but I've kind of gotten this thing. It's like, okay, for street cars, I like this kind of look. And then if I'm gonna do a dedicated, dedicated track car, yeah, it would be a GT3 or the RS and PDK, just because like, it's fun shifting. Yeah. But you're losing, what do you think? Like, you're losing mental time, maybe half a second. 100%. Just like trying to pay attention to shift and then flip the throttle. 100%. So, good for a street. This is the one. Titanium exhaust. The Manti wheels are one of my favorite parts. I mean, that's just crazy. If I had a 911, this is the exact spec that I'd want to build. Just like this. It is so good. So good, Tyrone. Wait until I put the arrow this back there for more downforce. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And that is a wrap. Epic track day. Chris once again killed it on the content. Oh. Hope you guys have been enjoying all the. Sh you leave me hanging here. Oh my bad. Hope you guys <laughs> have been enjoying all the short form stuff. We've been crushing it, but uh, it's time to head home. We have a almost five hour drive because we waited a little bit longer to drive the GT3. We have a buddy cruising with us home. Tyrone's gonna cruise with us back home. So. At least hopefully that'll make it a little bit more enjoyable having a GT3 Touring next to us. But we have about a five hour drive back to the shop. So uh, after a long day at the track, that doesn't sound ideal, but the price of having fun. We'll see you guys back at the shop. The FO5 is back home, tucked away in the garage. That was one of the most miserable drives of our life, but the FO5 did absolutely fantastic. And she's all cleaned up now. We have like the craziest next week and a half coming up for you guys. The next, the next video you guys see is probably gonna be the most epic motorsports experience that I've ever had in my life. After the motorsports event is like, well, probably the one of the biggest things in my entire life. And it's like taking the next step forward in my life. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on that, but we have quite the road trip coming up with the FO5. First button willow, then crazy motorsports experience, and then just another one that I don't want to tell you guys about yet because you'll see it in the videos, but three massive road trips coming up, so stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed this track day. Chris is absolutely killing it, helping me get content, and I hope you guys are enjoying the content we're able to get more and more shots and more content rolling out for you guys. It's just been amazing, and uh, I really enjoyed watching this video and editing this video, so I hope you guys liked watching it as well. So with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget, brand new Legends Collection dropping this Friday, 10 a.m., and if you're VIP, it's gonna drop Thursday at 5 p.m. for all my VIP members. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys again for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button. Of course, leave us a comment down below and definitely don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.